Victim of Monday night fire identified. Sheriff will be watching for seatbelt violators in 2020. Convicted sex offender faces new child porn charges. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Thursday, March 5th, 2020. We now know the name of the man who died in the house fire Monday night in Sheboygan on Michigan Avenue. 44-year-old Russell Dockstetter III was pulled from the fire that broke out shortly before 10 o'clock p.m. Rescues, rescue crews attempted to life-saving measures on Dockstetter, but he passed away at the hospital. A press release from the Sheboygan Fire Department Monday says two other residents were able to escape the home and several animals were removed from the home and carried by their, the firefighters and bystanders. The fire required the assistance of several fire departments in the area and left three other people and their pets without a place to live. The cause of the fire is still under investigation and damage to the three unit apartment is estimated at $70,000. The spring elections coming up on Tuesday, April 7th, the Sheboygan branch of the American Association of University Women is sponsoring three candidate forums. Each will take place at 6 p.m. at the Mead Public Library. The first on Wednesday, March 18th, will host two sessions. First up that night will be District 2 Alderman Todd Wolf and his challenger Travis Gross. And then District 6 Alderman Dean Decker and his challenger, former Alderman Mark Herman, will be featured and candidates will answer prepared questions and written questions from the audience. Tuesday, March 24th, will be will feature incumbent county board district three supervisor Don Brula and challenger Vicki Schneider. District five candidates Rebecca Clark and Charles Butler, and district 20 incumbent Brian Huffman and challenger Michael Zimmerman. Finally, on Monday, March 30th, issues concerning the Sheboygan Area School District will be discussed by newcomer Kay Robbins and current board members David Gallinetti, Marcos Guevara, and Kyle Welton. There are no candidates for the school board locally. A series of three road closures have been scheduled beginning this Thursday to allow the City of Sheboygan Forestry Division to conduct tree removal operations. City Forester Tim Bull announced that the first on March 5th will block Geely Avenue between 6th and 7th streets from approximately 8 a.m. until 3 p.m. so that the trees affected by the emerald ash borer can be removed. On Friday, March 6th from 8 o'clock until 3 o'clock, urban forestry management plan operations will require closure of North 8th Street between Geely and Bluff Avenues. Then on Monday, March 9th, trees will be removed on North 8th Street from Lincoln to Superior Avenues, closing that street from 8 until 3 o'clock p.m. Expect extra scrutiny from the sheriff on Sheboygan County roads this year. Sheriff Corey Rossler and Inspector Chad Broren in an agenda entry for Thursday's law committee meeting reported receipt of the traffic enforcement grant amounting to almost $6,000 per month to be used to ensure that seatbelt laws are being observed. Wisconsin requires drivers of motor vehicles and all passengers over the age of four to wear safety belts that an appropriate child safety restraint be used for those four and under. Fines begin at $10 and can be assessed against drivers and passengers who are at least 16 years old. Four Sheboygan County road projects will begin soon thanks to Wisconsin's Multimodal Local Supplement, or MLS. 
a one-time $75 million funding program for local transportation projects. Governor Evers made that announcement on Wednesday. The Sheboygan County projects are among 152 throughout the state and include the Indian Mound Road Bridge in the town of Sherman, the Willow Road Bridge in the town of Plymouth, Hickory Grove Road in the town of Mitchell, and Playbird Road in the town of Mosul. In all, over one and a quarter million dollars will be granted by the MLS on Sheboygan County projects. MLS will cover up to 90% of the total costs. And finally, a previously convicted sex offender faces new charges in a child porn bust. Wapaka County Sheriff's officials say they arrested Brett A. Wolberg, 31, of Scandinavia as a result of a raid on Tuesday. Acting on an online tip, investigators found what they called a substantial amount of child pornography. Wolberg faces 16 counts, including 9 counts of child pornography and 5 counts of failing to maintain his listing on the sex offender registry. Wolberg was previously convicted in child porn cases in 2012, and Wolberg appeared in court on Wednesday, where a $10,000 cash bond was set, and he is due back in court next Tuesday. And that is our report for today. Join me again on Tuesday for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.